Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Creatine supplements help people suffering from long COVID finds a study. Results from a recent clinical trial published in Food Science and Nutrition indicate that dietary creatine may benefit individuals experiencing post-COVID-19 fatigue syndrome, also known as long COVID. The amino acid creatine is essential for muscle and brain health and people commonly use creatine supplements to improve exercise performance and increase muscle mass. Long COVID, also known as post-acute sequelae of SARS-CoV-2 infection, is a condition in which individuals who have recovered from acute COVID-19 continue to experience a range of persistent symptoms and health issues for weeks or even months after their initial infection. These lingering symptoms can affect various parts of the body and are often unpredictable and debilitating. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. In the trial, 12 people with post-COVID-19 fatigue syndrome were randomized to take a placebo of 4 grams of creatine monohydrate per day for 6 months. Creatine intake caused a significant increase in creatine levels in leg muscles and across the brain at both 3-month and 6-month follow-ups. Creatine supplementation also led to a significant reduction in general fatigue after 3 months of intake and it significantly improved scores for several post-COVID-19 fatigue syndrome related symptoms including loss of taste, breathing difficulties, body aches, headaches and difficulties concentrating at the 6-month follow-up. Corresponding author Sergej M. Ostojic said, quote-unquote, endorsing creatine might be of great importance in tackling this prevalent condition, but additional studies are warranted to confirm our findings in various post-COVID-19 cohorts. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.